Hi Leo, welcome to Buddy Tarot. This is going to be your reading for the month of August 2023. So let's jump right in and see what energies we have for you. Leo, I hope you're doing well. I'd like to thank you for all your likes, shares and subscribes. I'm truly grateful for your kindness. Thank you for helping this channel grow. We're going to do a Celtic cross for you and then we'll get clarifiers for each of those cards. So Leo, starting off the reading, we have the Page of Wands. So that's you coming out with a childlike energy or enthusiasm about something. You're pretty excited about something that you're dealing with for the month of August. Uh, crossing this, we have the Knight of Pentacles. So something's coming to the surface. Something is starting to materialize. There's momentum. Um, this might have taken a long time, but uh, we'll find out what this momentum is in relation to. In your subconscious, we have the Six of Wands. That's you feeling good about something. Um, you know, there's a sense of recognition and feeling good about something that you're doing correct. In the recent past, we have the Queen of Wands. So uh, mm, that's you either having a glow up or focusing on, you know, the way you look, the way you feel, your overall health, or it could be a connection that you're dealing, that you have been dealing with where there's been a lot of attraction in your focus, as in in your conscious mind, we have the five of cups. So there's some sadness about a past situation that you have been dealing with um, that you will be addressing, continuing to address emotionally for the month of August. In the immediate future, we have the emperor, so that's you taking control. Over a situation, we'll find out if there is someone else in relation to this. How you see yourself is as the Page of Swords. So there's something that you're pretty much curious and interested in, but you're keeping your distance, but keeping a mental tab on this person or a situation. Um, you could be learning something, uh, you know, something new about somebody or something with the Page of Swords. The energy that surrounds you and you may not that you may not be aware of is the justice. So, you know, you have the five of cups in your focus, in your conscious mind. So you could be feeling like, uh, you know, there's a sense of loss about something or something hasn't been fair. But, you know, things are balancing out and it, it may not seem it may not feel very good with the five of cups, but but the universe is working in your favor with the justice and how you see yourself is the page of uh, is the five of pentacles which is again you know very similar to what is there in your conscious mind um you feel like you've been left alone or someone's left you behind you know um if this is not a person who's left you behind if there is not physical separation between you and somebody this is you feeling burnt out or feeling sad with the five of pentacles. You know, one might feel like one has been left to manage everything by themselves. This is also a card of extreme loyalty. So we'll find out what that is about. And uh, in the potential outcome, we have the two of swords. There's something that you're not seeing or you're blocking. I don't know if that's conscious or subconscious. We'll find that out. Um, Underneath the deck, we have the Page of Pentacles. So, you know, there's something new that's uh, something, not necessarily new, but you're starting to feel excited about something or enthusiastic about something and wanting to put in energy and effort, time, effort and energy into a certain situation or somebody. So let's start clarifying and we start with the Page of Wands.
Why the Page of Wands for Leo? This card doesn't belong here. So the Four of Wands came out. We'll just keep that to the side. So we have the Strength, Chariot, and the Queen of Cups. So, Leo, you could be dealing with the water sign, not necessarily, but it could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio that you're dealing with. But there is love in a situation and there is somebody else involved in in this, this dynamic. Now, with the strength and the chariot, it looks like you've been trying to move and you know move things forward either physically if not physically energetically but it's been tough with the strength it's been really difficult to move things forward but it looks like you know with the queen of cups you're heading towards a good direction or this this um, connection is heading towards a good direction with the queen of cups there's shared love um this is clarifying the page of wands so you know Leo, you're feeling excited and you feel good about this. You feel good about this movement, even though it has come, uh, you know, with a lot of difficulty because the strength is here. And also, you know, the four of wands have flown out, flew, the four of wands flew out. So this could be like a long term or a stable situation that you're dealing with. And, you know, maybe you're moving or there is an energetic movement when it comes to your home or work. But um, there's positive movement overall. Now, again, we have the Knight of Pentacles, which is positive movement again. So let's see why is this crossing the Page of Wands. So for the Knight of Pentacles, we get the Eight of uh, Wands, the Two of Swords, and the Eight of Cups. So we have two of swords twice here at the table. So I'm wondering if this is connected to the potential outcome, what you're doing currently. But there's some kind of shift that's happening, Leo, with the eight of wands. It could be some communication that's coming. Uh, I mean, the shift could be coming because of a incoming communication or this is an energetic shift. But with the two of pentacles, you know, there is a decision that that, that is pending and maybe you feel like you don't have enough information to make this decision but uh, it's a matter of time where your head and your heart needs to align for for you to be able to see you know what it is that you need to do but i don't think that's happening right now because you're disconnected from your heart with the eight of cups you're walking away from a situation that doesn't fulfill you not walking away you're emotionally detaching from a situation that doesn't fill you uh, fulfill you in the way it used to but this is causing us a blockage in your energy and it is uh, preventing you from com coming to a decision that is aligned both in your mind and your heart but regardless with the queen all this clarifying the knight of pentacles you know even though this shift was meant to occur quickly there has been some blockages but this this energetic shift is coming about and some movement is coming with the knight of pentacles this is something serious where whatever you're putting effort into whether it's a relationship or work or a you know a work project or a personal um, situation at home it's coming to fruition with the knight of pentacles now let's clarify the six of wands in your uh, subconscious so for the six of wands we get the tower the empress and the four of wands so uh, we have the emperor and the empress um, at the table. Um, I don't know whether you're the emperor or your person is the empress or vice versa. But the fact that the match is here, it means that, you know, this is showing energetically how much this connection means to you and whatever you're trying to bring to the table, whatever form of movement. Now, with the tower, it looks like there is some kind of shake up or something is happening there is a turn of events, something uh, that is bringing about, which apparently seems difficult with the tower, but actually it's bringing in a whole lot of stability for you and the person that you're dealing with. 
you know, with the Empress and the Four of Wands and with the Four of Wands flying out from the, the other deck. This is connected directly to the stability of you and this person. It could be that you and this person share a home or a workspace, but something that is seemingly difficult is eventually bringing in a lot of love and stability and good energies to this table and to to the table and into your life and um, into this person's life and there is a recognition of it uh, with the six of wands eventually even though it might feel a bit rough initially and this is all happening in your subconscious so this may you may not necessarily be aware of it but whatever might seem difficult uh, you know subconsciously it's leading you to a better place now let's clarify the queen of wands so for the queen of wands we get the star the seven of pentacles the hierophant and the ten of wands so yeah there is a significant connection you know with the queen of wands there's a lot of attraction this is in your recent past so this could be happening now or you know until the time until now what you uh, somebody you have been dealing with it could be the same connection or somebody else but with the star you've been hopeful about a situation and it's been a lot of work with the seven of pentacles and the ten of wands it's been difficult but you've been trying to remain hopeful about a situation you know with the queen of wands standing your ground um it's been tough but it's been uh, difficult keeping this connection together but you've been hopeful and you've been staying positive and uh, bringing whatever healing energies you can to the table, you know, when it comes to this connection. And with the Queen of Wands, I mean, there's a lot of attraction and, you know, it's mutual. As, as I say that, the lovers comes out. So this is for clarifying the Five of Cups. So... Um, Let's get two more cards for the Five of Cups. We have the Lovers, the Two of Pentacles, and the Knight of Wands. So it looks like, you know, you're sad about some kind of movement that's happening. Maybe this is related to a choice that somebody's had to make. The Two of Pentacles is also a choice or, you know, deciding where one wants to put in their energy. It's an energy of multitasking. This is a, this is a card of options. This is, you know, making choices. So it looks like you're having to make a choice, Leo and you're not happy about it. This could be related to, you know, a movement. It could be a physical movement or an energetic movement, but it's connected to this, this queen of wands that you've been dealing with, this empress that's there in your subconscious. It's all over your energy that, you know, this connection is important. But there is a lot of sadness around this because the five of cups is past hurt and pain. So a lot has happened. And it looks like even though, you know, you're trying to, you've been trying to remain hopeful and, you know, you're trying to keep things positive, but there is some kind of sadness that surrounds the situation. And as much as you want for things to move in a positive way, um, I feel like with the Five of Cups, uh, sadness is heavily in your energy for this for the month of August. Now for the Emperor, we get the Magician, uh, the Eight of Pentacles and the Five of Pentacles. So you're working on your manifestations, Leo, with the Magician and the Eight of Pentacles. You're working hard, but it's just, you know, with the Five of Pentacles showing up in how you see yourself and also in the immediate future, it looks like, it looks like you could be just feeling alone when you're doing all your manifestations and the thing with the emperor is the emperor is not alone the emperor you know has an empire and they they have people they care for and they look over and you know they have a lot of responsibilities but i feel like while you're manifesting whatever you are whether it's a work situation your stability financially or with this connection that means so much to you it feels like you're feeling alone and it's like you're left to do things on your own and, you know, you're also showing extreme loyalty. I see two people in this card. I see two people here. So, you know, 
Leo, there's some difficult energies, but regardless, you know, you have all the tools that you need uh, with the magician and it's just a matter of choice. And there are difficult days, there are some tough energies, but you have it all under control with the emperor, you're doing well. You have a straight face and you know exactly what needs to be done. How you see yourself is as the page of swords. So let's get three cards for that. Why the page of swords? Why do you see yourself as the page of swords? So there's six of cups, the four of swords and the three of wands. So Leo, there's somebody that you're at a distance from, uh, you know, with the page of swords and the four of swords. There's someone in you, some... There's somebody in you who's in a separation and with the three of wands there's something about timing where you know maybe a lot of time has passed between the two of you being separate and this is this is this is an energy from the past and it's a significant person and it looks like you're waiting for this person to reach out or you could be energetically waiting to reach out to this person and i'm not saying that this is you're doing this on purpose this is subconsciously because we have the four of swords you know this guy this character here is has his eyes shut he's resting but i'm I'm not sure if this is what is coming to your dreams or if you're nostalgic about the past but you're looking looking out for someone and with the page of swords you're definitely keeping tabs on somebody from the past um i don't think this is uh necessarily connected to this uh situation it could be but for that, you'd have to be separated. Uh, you know, maybe there is some kind of separation with the tower in your subconscious, but I'm not sure, uh, Leo. Now, let's clarify the justice um, in the energy that surrounds you. Yeah, with the five of pentacles, I think there could be a separation, you know, Leo, because the five of pentacles, even though these two people are together and it shows loyalty, but... The five of pentacles is essentially feeling alone and left feeling left alone so i don't know if you guys are together but there is a sense of loneliness sadness that surrounds this connection and there's distance between the two of you even though you could be physically together you know that's what i'm trying to say like sometimes people are together but there's distance between them so Leo, just take what resonates for you. Let's look at the justice for the energy that surrounds you and you may not be aware of. So for the justice card, for justice, we have the seven of cups, the page of swords again, and the eight of swords. So yeah, um, there's some confusion uh, with the seven of cups. There's something about you exploring your options though, but there's some sense of confusion around it because with the page of swords, you're not really sure, you know, and, uh, you know, it may look like Leo, you don't have options and you're stuck in a certain situation, but you do have options. And with, with the justice here, you might feel like there is no balance in a situation and that you're left feeling stuck. You know, if you add the eight and the nine, the page, it becomes a nine. So you could be feeling stuck, confused, and just feeling trapped in your head about a certain situation. But there is an energy of balance around you, and the universe is balancing things around, which you may not be necessarily aware of. You know, justice is not always something that we see or we can see. It's It works in ways in which our ordinary intelligence cannot even comprehend so let's see why you see yourself as the five of pentacles because you know there you are feeling alone but the universe is with you the universe is supporting you at this time so let's see what this five of pentacles is about so for the five of pentacles we get the five of swords the ten of cups the sun and the death oh. so with the sun and the death Leo, these are like major arcanas and these are universal energies. And it looks like while you're feeling lonely, you know, something is being illuminated. You're being shown the light. And there is a transformation that's occurring within yourself. Whether you're at a distance, you're definitely at an energetic distance from somebody. But whether you're with or without this person, there is a transformation that's occurring. You know, this is a purification that's occurring with the sun and the death together, where uh you know you see yourself as 
casting off what doesn't serve you anymore and moving forward with essentially what you need and this is to do with your happiness and with the five of swords you know there might have been something five of swords and the five of pentacles is a difficult combination so you know you might be dealing with somebody who may not necessarily be agreeing with you leo or you and this person could be in some kind of clash and separation but you're finding your way out of this and you know with the ten of cups you're you're going to find your way and you're going to sh have a shared happy dynamic whether it's with a person or in a community and there's going to be a transformation and this is how you this is how you see yourself you see yourself and you recognize that you're going through a much needed transformation at this time now let's look at the potential outcome which is the two of swords and what is it that you're blocking or you're not or you're procrastinating perhaps you have the page of cups the judgment and the nine of wands so there's something that you're looking out for or you're trying to look out for something with the nine of wands you're weary about something or someone uh, that might come towards you in a hostile manner or might attack you this could be somebody from the past so it's to do with the past issue uh, with the page of cups um, well um, With the page of cups this could be a matter of the heart it could, it's somebody from the past that you're dealing with but it's essentially you know it's some it, it's to do with the relationship i would have to say because the page of cups is definitely a relationship now i don't know if it's somebody if it's a younger person or if it's somebody embodying the energy of the page of cups or this could be you leo uh, but with the page of cups you know, if this is you, then it's a renewal of your energy with a child like, you know, we had we had the page of wands starting off the reading. So, again, that's you putting in effort again, making an offer, trying to restart something over, even though you're tired, you know, your mental health may not be in such a good way uh, dealing with the situation. Probably you've dealt with it several times, but regardless, you're, you're putting in energy again, or it's this person that's coming towards you putting in energy again but with the two of swords there's something that you're not seeing um, there is a, a little bit of back and forth about whether you should proceed you know with this emotional offer whether it's you or the other person making this offer to you so uh, Leo uh, let's get three cards and see what the universe has to say and we'll end the reading on that note So for the universe, we get the Ten of Cups, the Ace of Cups, and the Knight of Swords. Yeah, Leo, you're ending one cycle of, uh, you're ending one emotional cycle of your life and you're starting a new one. And this is going to happen very quickly, you know. Uh, it might just uh, be a bit too quick with the Knight of Swords. But, but, but with the Knight of Swords, Leo, even you've made up your mind about... Uh, something that you want to go forward with and with the ace of cups it's a brand new beginning in love whether it's the same person that you're you've already been dealing with or it's somebody new but you're determined to uh, you know move towards love in your life so leo this is what i have for you i hope this helped and i'll catch you again soon later uh, take care bye